Stampin' Besta. Welcome everybody to my Stampin' Peace Studio. Oh, I want to flip this around for just a moment. There we go. Um, welcome to my Stampin' Peace Studio. I'm Mary Nave. It is Tuesday, March 19th, and it's the first day of spring. Yay! Um, it feels very, or it looks very much like spring in central Ohio. My daffodils have been blooming um, and uh, the sky is blue, the sun has been shining, but boy is it cold. Um, I was in Houston for Stampin' Up! on stage on the weekend and it was wonderful. In fact, I'll be using um, some of the new products I got there for today's demonstration of a very cool fun fold card. Um, but since I got home Sunday, it's been cold, it's windy, um, so it's a little deceiving when you look outside. Um, but nonetheless, it is spring, warmer days and longer days are very close and I'm excited about that. Um, oh gosh, we have lots of people jumping on. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I'm going to, what do I want to show you first? I don't know. Oh, I'll show you the new in colors. And as I'm showing you the new in colors, this is your reminder that um, the old in colors, the 2022 to 2024 in colors are retiring. So you want to get those products while you can every year. I tell people, get the in-color products you want before they're gone, and every year um, the time passes and people are disappointed because they didn't get what they wanted and I can't help them, okay? So the retiring in-colors are, let me take a look here, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, um, Parakeet Party, and sweet sorbet. So those are the five colors that are retiring. If you want the ink pads, the re-inkers, the markers, um, blends, what else? Uh, any of the ribbons, uh, refills, 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 refills. Those always go. And of course the cardstock. All right. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, do you want to take a look at the new in colors? Here they are. So the first one is called Peach Pie. Then we have Shy Shamrock. The colors aren't showing up exactly the same. I can tell on the video that they are in person. Um, this is Summer Splash. It's kind of like, um, I would say between Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. Um, here's an oldie that some of you are going to be very happy is coming back. Pretty in pink, okay? That classic um, baby pink, I call it. And my favorite is the, I forgot what it's called, Petunia Pop, Petunia Pop. So those are the five in colors. So um, remember, out with the old and with the new. Every year we have a set of in colors that is retiring and a set of in colors um, that will be coming in to our product line for two years. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera around so I can start today's demonstration. And what I'm doing is casing a card I received from another demonstrator at the Stampin' Up! On Stage event. And I'm going to show you the card. I'm going to show you how I measured and figured out um, how to cut my cardstock and paper. And then I'll be making with you, one with you, um, showing some new products. In fact, it's my favorite suite in the new catalog. So while I'm flipping my camera around, would you please share this live video and invite others to join us this afternoon?
Okay, it's not letting me. There we go. Come on. A little technical difficulty there for a moment. Okay, let me get this straightened out. No, that's not right. Okay. Get my cord out of the way. And I will... Put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. But this is the um, card I received from demonstrator Pam Irwin. Um, she had been messaging me saying, can we meet up, etc. cetera. Um, and I wasn't sure I knew who this was, but we did, um, we weren't able to schedule a meetup, but we happened to run into each other at lunch on the last day. And I asked, had I met you in person before? And she said, well, no, but she had a question about one of the projects she saw on one of my social media sites. And I sent her the video link for the demonstration of that project. And she says she's been following me for a long time and is very inspired by my work. So it's very touching to hear things like that. I'm very humbled and very grateful when people tell me things like that. But she gave me this card along with a, a little gift and I just wanted to show it to you. You are much appreciated. You can tell um, where some of those stamps came from. And then this is her note and I don't think she'll mind me reading it. You are such an inspiration. Your creativity knows no bounds. Thank you for sharing all of your wonderful projects. You're amazing. Your stampin' friend, Pam Irwin. And I just thought that was so nice that she took the time to do that for me. Um, and I thought, oh, what a clever fun fold. I'm going to use this as my inspiration for today's Facebook Live. So I wanted to show you, it's actually two card bases in one. You've got the larger one with that angle cut, and then you've got a smaller one. So um, what I did was just started with one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I measured the card bases and this card, large card base started out with the standard measurements, five and a half by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter in the middle, and then a cut line. And the other one measures three inches by eight and a half. So to make this one card, I can um, do that from one sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock with a little bit left over. Okay, so before we actually put our card together, let me show you the products that I'm using. In addition to the Knight of Navy cardstock, I'm using a new bundle that'll be in our new catalog starting May 1st. Um, and it's called Citrus Blooms. And I love anything with fruits on. Um, and they especially remind me of my mom, any types of fruit. She loved fruits um, just like I do, probably even more. Um, she actually grew up on a farm and they had a um, apple orchard as well. So all things fruit. So I knew that I wanted this. Stampin' Up! demonstrators who attended the event had the choice when they registered from um, to um, they called it pay to play. We could pay an extra fee and participate in an evening craft session. And we each got to choose one of three bundles. And this was the one I chose. And then we all sat together around tables and um, crafted and made the samples um, that they laid out for us. And so I was excited to get this one, but I was even more excited when I saw it. And then, you're not going to believe this. You know, um, at Stampin' Up, 
they are into prizes, right? Prize patrol, giveaways, that sort of thing. So when they called number four, this was the prize I received. Look at this, it's the Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper with oranges and lemons and blossoms. Absolutely beautiful. And if you flip it over, there are various um, shapes and patterns that really do have that Mediterranean feel. And the colors are um, Night of Nami, Balmy Blue, and Boho Blue. So you get two completely different looks from one pack of designer series paper. So as I said, this definitely is my favorite suite in the new catalog. Um, the only other product in that suite is an embellishment, but I wasn't able to um, pre-order that. Um, they weren't giving it out, that sort of thing. So I'll have to wait on that, but no worries. Okay, so I'm starting with five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. I've already scored it in the middle. So what I want to do is fold that in half, okay? And just to make sure the front and back are the same. If it's off a little bit, you decide what's the front, what's the back. Now, keeping in mind my sample, I need for it to be like open like this, I need to cut away this top corner, okay, the top right corner. So what I did was I took my cardstock, just to make it easier for myself, I opened it up and turned the sample in my cardstock the same way. And what I need to do is cut at an angle from this corner to the center score line, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just putting this corner and the score line right down the center of my cutting groove. And I have this, okay? This is already cut and scored three by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Now, let me introduce some designer series paper. Again, this is the Mediterranean Blooms, fruit on one side, um, blue patterns on the other. And I've started with a piece of four inch by six inch, okay? Four inch by six inch. And I'm going to cut a piece down to four and five and a quarter. So here's my five and a quarter mark, which means I'm cutting three quarters of an inch off and we will be using this piece. Now I need to cut my designer series paper. So just lay it on top of, make sure that small flap is on top. You're just going to lay that on there and visualize which direction you're going to be making your cut, okay? And again, I'm just gonna lay my sample there. I'm showing you step-by-step step how I cased this card I received, okay? So now I'm going to put the top left corner and the bottom right corner in the cutting groove to make that angle cut. Now to do that, I don't, when I have teeny tiny corners like this that I have to cut through, I don't like starting off of the paper. The reason why is that corner that is so tiny that it's easy for your blade to catch and kind of crumple that corner. So in cutting like this, I'm going to start with my blade on the DSP. I'm gonna cut out and cut down. And then I don't have any crumpled corners. Okay. And I think that's all the cutting I need to do. So let me put this aside. And now it's time to assemble my card. The first thing I'm going to do is assemble, uh, uh, adhere, excuse me, adhere 
my large pieces of DSP. And I have this one that's on the bottom left. I have this one and I'm going to adhere it so the longest edge matches up with the angled edge of my cardstock. You can use any adhesive you like, but if you use the multi-purpose glue, it makes it easy to move that DSP around so that you get its long edge matched up perfectly with the long edge of that triangular flap on the front. Now I'm going to adhere the other one and I do want it also to line up with the first piece that I put on. And to make this fit just the way I want it, I'm holding the flap closed and I'm pushing that piece of DSP all the way to that closed edge, okay? I'm not going over it. And you can see all the patterns line up perfectly. I'm not going over that edge, but I'm going right up to it. And then I wanna press that down into place. I'm going to set that aside for just a moment and I'm going to put my small card base together. I've got two pieces of basic white cardstock that measure two and three quarters by four inches. Two and three quarters by four inches. One is for the inside. And the other one is for the front of that small card base. Sharon, I'm glad you had a good time at On Stage Houston as well. I'm already looking forward to next year's in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is a good bit closer for those of us in Ohio. Um, so I'm hoping some of my team members will attend as well. Oops, I put the, darn it. Okay, let me just roll this off. I wanted to use, remember I told you we were gonna use that extra piece, that three quarters inch strip. I think I can just, I have an adhesive eraser here somewhere. But I'm gonna do this for now. I put my adhesive on the wrong side. Did you ever do that? Are you always like, oh, nuts? Here it is. So if you've got one of these adhesive erasers, you can buy this at any craft store or um, even online. It's just called an adhesive eraser. Almost got it. Let me move. Just a little bit more. Thank you for bearing with me as I correct my mistake here. Rather than waste that piece of DSP. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Tiny bit. Okay, much better. Now I will put the adhesive on the correct side so that I have this pretty blue pattern showing. And I'm just going to adhere this to the white cardstock on the inside of the small card base. So you can see there's not a lot of room for um, a large sentiment here or um, whatever you might want to stamp. It's just enough space to write a personal message, okay? Um, if you want more space for your message or if you want more space 
to stamp something, just don't put that strip on. Easy as that, okay? Now with this small card base closed, I'm going to adhere this to the center or the inside of my card base. So I'm centering it just like that. And so this is what I have so far. Oh my goof, that, that made me forget. Um, I do want to stamp a sentiment. And hopefully it'll be straight since I already adhered my white. Gee, I'm out of practice. See what happens when I go out of town a little bit? <laughs> I did have a really great time. It's so wonderful to meet up with demonstrators I've met in the past, but then to meet so many new demonstrators. And um, that's what I really enjoy is making connections and friends and all that sort of thing. Now, to finish off this card, um, I don't. I was going to stamp in watercolor or stamp in color with blends, but I don't have the um, peach pie color that I would want to use along with the pumpkin pie for the oranges. And I was going to do lemons, but I really wanted to do oranges for this card. So what I've done is, here's the beautiful um, die set that coordinates with the Citrus Blooms stamp set. These two large ones actually cut out some of the images on some of the DSP, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now, is just cut a piece of DSP. And when I do something like this, I like to just kind of have my die close to where I need it. And then I'm going to cut around it and I try not to cut through the other images that I could cut out later, okay? Len, I know you can make this one. I have absolutely no doubt that everybody here can make this. And now with the larger die, you do need to use your um, standard or large cut and emboss machine. For this one, I believe I can do it right here on the mini machine. Oh, did I show you my latest discovery? This is the perfect time to use it. So another, uh, my demonstrator friend in Ontario, Canada showed me this. It's post-it note tape. So I got online and I found it and look at this. Um, you just, this is to kind of hold it in place, but you just lift and pull off what you need and you tear it off like a piece of tape. So this is now what I'm going to use to hold this die in place. So that's post-it note tape on a roll. I gave that as a gift to um, the other demonstrators I was um, attending on stage with. There were five of us in the group. So I'm just going to let me set this up. Feels like I lost my rubber feet for that. I'll have to put those back on. And here's one stuck here. Gosh, just falling apart today. Look how nicely this comes out. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. 
So then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to adhere it to my card front with some dimensionals because that is what I like to do. I did send out an email newsletter today. Um, if you are not on my email list and you want to subscribe to that newsletter, just go to stampinpeace.com and click on the word subscribe in the pink menu bar. Um, I, I think I also posted the link here, or maybe it's going to post later this evening. Um, so that's another way you can see it. And then I'm just using simple lin linen thread to make a bow to finish off. this card. And I like to just put, when I'm making bows with linen thread, I like to just put a dot of that multi-purpose glue and Just lay my bow, or the knot of my bow, in that drop of glue. And then I just put a small clear block on top to hold that in place for a few minutes while it dries. Now, um, again, here was my inspiration card. Super easy fun fold, okay? And here is a sample I made earlier. Not sure who I'm gonna send this to, but I love how it turned out. And again, the only thing I stamped was the sentiment because I don't have yet the Stampin' Blends. I want to be able to color um, the oranges. So I again, I just used the dyes, the Citrus Blooms dyes, to cut some designer series paper. There's the inside, whoops. And then I made another one. In addition to the oranges, the paper features lemons. Okay, and I love the sentiment, just checking in. You can send that for so many different um, things. Somebody you haven't heard from in a while, somebody is off to college, or maybe transferred for a new job or moved away, or just somebody you haven't seen in a long time and you want to make sure they're okay, just checking in, letting them know they're thought of. Um, now, this does not have a die. I fussy cut that, and it really was not hard. It was not time-consuming. And again, this paper in the background is also from the Mediterranean Blooms DSP. So, um, okay, we need to talk retiring list just very briefly. And um, what do I wanna say about that? I need to still go through my um, catalogs. There are two this time and mark what's retiring and um, what's carrying over. And there's a very different format to the new catalog. So it's going to require a little bit more time. So I don't have that ready yet. Um, I'm going to work on that this evening after my free craft and chat, which is 7 to 8.30 um, this evening with Zoom. And you can find that link right here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nape on Facebook. It was also put in my um, email newsletter if you receive that. So um, I am going to say let's plan on noon tomorrow. I will do a Facebook Live and I will go through um, page by page the annual catalog and the January to April mini catalog and um, so that you can see what's retiring. Okay, again, here's your fair warning. 
If you see something that you know is going to retire, please shop early so you get the best selection, you get what you want. You will see sale prices on the list and what I show you in the Facebook Live tomorrow. However, um, those discounted prices do not start till April 9th. You'll be able to buy everything up until then, um, unless it sells out. Um, but discounted prices will not start till April 9th, all right? But again, I highly encourage you to purchase the outgoing in color collection, which includes Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, um, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. Those five. All righty. All right. I have not forgotten the giveaway. If you would like your, to have your name put into the drawing to receive this fun fold card, um, with the new Mediterranean Blooms DSP featured, please type in the comments now, oranges, oranges, okay, oranges. Here's that other one I made earlier, as well as um, the card I made featuring the lemons. They all have the very same layout, same dimensions, I just switched up the DSP I used for the background and the center of the card. All right, oranges. Okay, so look for me tomorrow at noon for um, to show you in the two current catalogs what products are on the last chance list, okay? And then, of course... Thursday at 2 p.m. will be another Facebook Live demonstration, and I think I'll be casing something else I received at um, on stage. Don't know what I'm using yet, but I know what I'm casing. So that'll be fun, too. All right, everybody, have a good evening. Don't forget, if you just want to spend an hour and a half um, chatting with other stampers and crafters and doing your own thing. We each bring our own project to work on. I'm going to be working on my um, Easter paper pumpkin kit so I can get Easter cards in the mail. Um, it's just an hour, hour and a half of crafting and chatting. It's free. It's open to everyone. You just have to join with the Zoom link that I posted on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe today. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.